pick up recording there. Oh wait, okay, it started a new video. So, still, I'm gonna head back to town. You know, I think that they made the animation ambiguous enough that you don't get pissed off at the hit detection being so shallow. Because it really is shallow. Really, it's really frustrating that you have to be just the right position in order to hit people, and and then once you are, you always run the risk of getting hit yourself. So I find that incredibly annoying. All right, I'm back at the town, and I just quick saved. So let's head on in. Get some healings. We should also see if anything changed now that that guy's dad supposedly went back to town. I'm still holding out hope for him being brutally murdered before exiting the cave or by the several enemies along the way back to town. Serves you right for hiding a shield in a cave, you stupid... STUPID HEAD! And she just hide it in your home so that I can just get it. Has Anselm's father returned yet? I don't know. Has come back. Thank you for finding him. Maybe you should go to talk to that lady who was asking about your dad. There he is, on his invisible treadmill. Malaga is to the north, but you must go through a cave to get there. I'll give you the key to the cave. Okay. Does that mean that I have it now? Dungeon key? I guess that's what I have. I guess that's what he gave me. Can we use that? So, I'm going to quick save and see exactly what it does if you just use it anywhere. Janie uses the dungeon key. It doesn't have a door, so how can you use it? Use it on his head. I'm trying to think if there are any doors in town. It looks like all the doors are open. Alright, I just got back from taking a phone call and it took me a few seconds to figure out what I was doing. Um, I believe I'm going back to a cave that's this way to get to the next level of it. So, I'm just gonna skip ahead to being there. Okay, I'm here. Going in. Uh... Okay, good. I was worried that, um... Since I needed light, that I would not have the whole area shown, but that is in fact incorrect. I am now curious about one of these magic spells that I have. I forget what it does. Chrono? 
does that do? Can't use that here. So apparently that's in battle? I think I want to try and equip that and see what it does. Whoops. Ready. Chrono. I probably tried it before, but I forget, so give me a break. Um, quick save. And yeah, I was gonna skip to that ladder, but now I have an excuse to get into combat. Aha! That's what it does. That's actually pretty useful. How much does... Now I just need to find out how much um, MP it uses. Alright. Yeah, I think that might be more useful than, uh, than the little jet stream. I'm freaked out now. What's going on over here? So, 138 right now. And, okay, it only uses 5, but it apparently doesn't stop those things. I'm just gonna leave them. That's pretty lame. Maybe it just stops movement and not the attacks from going on. That's super lame. Yeah, like these guys, it'll be really good against. Totally. I'm just going in circles. Didn't stop them at all. Didn't even stop him from doing another attack. That's super lame. And I am going in circles. Or am I? Am I going in circles? Damn it. This game totally tricks me up all the time. to see what was at the end of that loop-de-loop. -loop. But, you know, it, I don't think it's very economical to use that in the battles because you use it twice and that's almost as much as uh, 210 HP worth of healing spell. So, I mean, I might as well just go headlong into battle instead of using that. So I'm gonna ready that other spell that is more useful to stationary targets. Let's see what's at the end of this loop de loop. I won't even get hit by these guys. Not probable, though. Did I? I didn't get hit! There's money inside. I like money! 89108. Okay. Okay, so it actually told me how much money I got, unlike most other things. Most of, this, most of the things in this game either happen or you force them to happen. Like, when you end a battle, it just happens to be that you got experience and gold from it. You don't get a pop-up message saying, how much you got, it just happens. But when you encounter chests or items, 
you don't automatically get those items. You have to force the game to give them to you. So it's kind of like an imbalance in what you expect from the game. Or maybe it's just that the game wants you to force a pop-up message saying how much experience you got. But then again, you can't do that, so I don't know what the game wants. I don't think the game knows what it wants. That just cost me 16. MP from doing double attacks on those things, so... This game really boils down to budgeting your MP. Since you don't have recharge for it. Of any sort. It'd be great if there was a mode where you could sleep outside. But this guy is incapable of sleeping outside. Probably because there's an enemy at every step. I just got Quest for Glory again recently because now it's on GOG.com, the whole series, for $10. And then just keep being reminded, I want to play that game because things like you can sleep outside, but it's not advisable because someone will like try to rob you or kill you maybe so you have to go to certain places where it's safer but there's always a random chance that you can sleep outside successfully I just love that game well those games but mostly the first one the first one just had uh, Germanic fantasy charm to it. I just tried to talk to a treasure chest. Quick save. And I think I'm just partial to that kind of fantasy game thing. You see, that was just one monster, so I didn't think that one monster would be worth getting poisoned. It's not going to give me enough experience or gold. I'm just going to say gold, because what the heck is a kim? Maybe it's something, but I don't know. It just sounds weird. Kim is a female name, as far as I'm concerned. Um, but yeah, all, all of the Quest for Glory games, I think, I, I, I actually can't pin, I can't determine uh, what for number five it was, but all, all of the Quest for Glory games pretty much have a different type of fantasy to them. And I just like the first game's type the best, I think. Although I haven't played much of 4, and I think that I might like 4 as well. It's probably pretty obvious that I want to do a Let's Play of Quest for Glory. Screw you guys. And at least with that that let's play, it won't be blind really. It'll be from the perspective of a fan and someone who has played the game a lot. At least the first and second one I played through, and the fifth one I played through. The third one I couldn't really get into. And the fourth one, I couldn't get to work way back when I had it originally on an early compilation disc set. Anyways.
And apparently I wasn't the only one. Now what is this? Mirage sword? I don't even know if I want to take this. Crystal armor sucked worse. Okay, silver sword. Uh, I think strength is the attribute that will be affected, so at 376. Equip the Mirage Sword. Three ninety six. So that's twenty more points. That's good. Let's go with that. Now let's just hope it's not cursed. Get away with not getting hit. Yes! Okay, so let's see if it's cursed or not. Let's remove the Mirage Sword. And that worked. Off. So why is there a chest there? They don't even give you a crappy item or anything. They don't give you a candle, they just give you an empty chest. I'm surprised about this um, spell working this whole time the, for light. I thought it was going to be like a candle where you have to keep reapplying it. Now it's not even worth carrying around a lantern. Why do you give me one of those? This game just screws with you. Gives you a single enemy in the hopes that you'll take the bait and attack it and run out of health, because you get poisoned all the time. It really takes understanding what resources you have at your disposal in this game. Like, lamps and gnome stones and griffin wings. Because otherwise, you could really get screwed up and lose a lot of time. Okay, poison shield. We got the poison shield. Quick save. Let's see what happens when we equip the poison shield. We have AC of 477 right now. There's no way to increase your intelligence, is there? Or luck. Or dexterity. Okay, 477.
Oh wait, we didn't take it. So let's take it. And silver sword. Bye bye. So let's see what the poison shield does. I forget. Uh, four seventy seven. Poison for eighty four. Uh, I'm in trouble. My brain can't calculate, but it's less than ten extra points. So not that great, but okay. Actually gonna be able to beat these guys without getting hit. The art of tactical shyness. That's the way combat is in this game. Okay, so I got the poison shield, but I still don't know what it's good for, other than hit points. Oh, you know what? I wasn't even thinking about it, but yeah, that's one thing I should have tested. Does it prevent poison? I totally didn't even think of that until just now, since getting it. I am a doofus. Now I just want to get into a fight right away with a poison character. Get out of my head. I'm looking for poisonous things. You go away. i get you. Oh, and Happy Mother's Day, everyone! level up. Okay. Sounds good to me. I'll take it! Okay, and one thing that was tempting was that little dead end down the bottom there. I wanted to get to that, but I figured no, I'll just leave it until after the dungeon. So I did. Oh, now I don't even have to use a uh, potion or anything. So level up. I never understood how leveling up refilled your health and your mana. But in so many games it does. So many that I'm not even going to name them. I'm just going to give you my word. But there are lots of games that do that. For no good reason. Disappointing dead ends. I seriously want one of these guys as my avatar for something. Except he would need to slide around like he's on ice skates. So it'd have to be a big avatar. That'd be awesome.
I just kind of doubt that that was intentional. For those guys to... For their animation to freeze up while they're still moving. This isn't an ice level. This is a forest level. Actually, can you really even call this a level? It's not a level. It's like... Outside. Except, level is a, a pretty loose term. A lot of times, people just call areas levels. So they forget the whole meaning of level, which was just popularized by games like Wolfenstein, where you actually move up and down. Or maybe not, maybe not both directions. I think you go one direction, usually. But still, that actually takes you to different levels, because going up or down. Alright, let's move to a new area. It's called level. Why don't you just call it area? But no. Oh, you know what? Did I just... I think I battled some things that were poisonous. I wasn't paying attention, but I'm not poisoned. That's pretty cool. I like that. You know, even if I get a shield that gives me more armor class, I am not trading it for something that prevents poisoning. It would just not be worth it. Not unless it was a lot higher armor class. Because this is just too cool having something that prevents poisoning. Even less reason for poison bomb. Okay, so I should talk I should probably talk to this guy's dad now that I got his shield. He's going the other direction on the treadmill. Did you find the poison shield? Yes, I did. Did you find the poison shield? Yes. Yes, I did. Did you find the poison shield? Sorry, I couldn't. Sometimes people just have one thing to say, and that should be a life lesson. So, I think I go up this way because I'm pretty sure I totally went all the other ways. Oh yeah, that guy was just twirling around a little. are lit up when the area is not. Ah, just die! 